guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I have something very exciting. I bet you can already tell. Can you see what it is? Volume three. Oh my goodness. So, if you're new to my channel, you may not have seen these before, but if you're not new, you've seen them a bunch of times. This is volume three, a brand new coloring book by my friend Danielle Danny Banani of Fun Usual Suspects. And this is an Etsy published coloring book, and I'm so excited. I'm tripping over my words, but yes. So volume one was actually like my reintroduction to coloring YouTube because I saw this and I had to have it. And I think this was my first ever Etsy coloring book and I was super obsessed. This was on my 10 books to finish. I didn't end up making it. I think I have like four pages left, but they're like all my favorite pages. So I'm like scared to finish them. I know it's very silly, but that's who I am as a colorist. And then volume two came out and it was magically even better. And I just love the themes. Okay, this is birds, not my favorite, but this one's 90s themed, picnic, flowers, amazing. And now as of today, volume three is in my hands. So this just came out and the post office did me a little dirty. It was supposed to get here on the first, but here it is on the fifth but it's here now. We're going to flip through it together. I haven't officially flipped through mine. I've seen a bunch of her spoiler posts on Instagram. And then I'll also show you the stuff that you got for pre-ordering. I personally did not pre-order mine. Uh, she sent it to me to show you guys, but you can definitely get yours now. I will have it linked down below. So let me get volume one and two out of the way and get right into volume three. I guess we'll open these first because they're on top. I didn't even open them. I wanted to. Fun mail from Fun Usual Suspects. <laughs> so the first round of pre-orders definitely went out. I'm not sure um, what the next, if there's more pre-orders or if you can just order now, I'll obviously check and have it linked. But let's see, look, look, look. Very important pens and pencils. How cute. Ooh, that's like a highlighter. It's a little pouch. Ooh, there's a pattern on both sides. Super cute. And then what's nice about this is you can use whatever you're using on your page, which I'll talk about that too. I tend to do like color palettes and try to stick to like between six and eight colors and you can keep those with you in case you need to go somewhere with your very important pens and pencils. And then there were some stickers. So for unusual suspects, has tons of cute stickers and bookmarks and clay air plants. Hopefully that's all still there, but you could definitely buy a whole bunch of stickers at any point. I have a bunch of stickers. I've been using them. They're not in here right now on my, on my bullet journal every year. Oh my goodness. That one's huge. Holy cannoli. All right. Let's see what we got. We got ah, a koala with a paintbrush. <gasps> A sloth with a pencil. This is how quickly I color. No. A red panda with a crayon. And this one is huge. Oh, this one is small. A kitty planet, which goes with the background card. Yes, there's a coupon, but I'm not going to share the coupon because you have to order to get your coupon. But there's that sticker. And then so many crafts, not enough arms. I love this. I actually have a shirt that has a crafting octopus on it. So this goes perfectly. And this might have to be my planner sticker or bullet journal sticker for next year. So buttons, Danny buttons, just saying. Um, yeah, definitely go and look at her stickers too when you go to make your order. But here we go, 30 more all new premium coloring pages, Yippie Kawaii, Mandala Magic volume three. Oh yes. So this was actually another freebie with the pre-order. It's an extra page, Express OMG. So cute. And obviously this is not mandala style, but I heard it through the grapevine that other coloring items may be coming out soon that are not mandala style. So keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll show you anything I get to see. Ooh, sorry. I'm not gonna read it right now because it's long, but it's very, informative and it's a message from Danny herself. So, ooh, 
I'll eventually have enough for a fourth book. Okay, okay. Oh no! Hmm, full circle. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Too excited. Then she gives you a test page, which is fun because you can either color this directly, obviously, super cute, love the bears, or you can actually use it between your pages and then see what happens to it. Personally, though, I have used markers, I've used Sharpies, I've used paint, and really nothing gets through this paper, so I don't know. I don't know, I'm just gonna have to color it on its own. Then here's your color testing page, and it says, here's where you test your pencils and inks to make extra sure none of them stinks. And again, I've never had anything run, but this is good to test um, how your mediums will work on the paper. And what's also nice is that these are probably a lot of the icons that are in the book. So if you wanna kinda like test colors, this is like color palettes. This is a good place to do that too. I see a turtle and I see eggs. So I'm very excited for both of those themes. And a bear, okay. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, I have to tell you, one of my favorite things in coloring books is when there are coloring supplies. I love it when all the artists throw in like a little critter coloring or just a page of, of pens and pencils. I, it's my favorite. So every page, all 30 are gonna have a title, which is so fun, your color test thing, and then it is perforated, and I'm pretty sure this is eight by 10. So if you wanted to frame it, either for yourself or as a gift, super easy to frame. It's not actually perforated, but it's obviously, you can cut along the dotted line. And personally, I don't love perforation because then they fall apart on me. So this works great for me. But as you can see, the color test strip is where I usually end up picking my colors. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I try not to do more than eight just because sometimes with how busy they are already it gets overwhelming and I find that that's like perfect for me so that's what I do but you don't have to but it's a good place to to start so that's gonna leave a mark so cute what I've noticed is that they keep getting more detailed in a good way waiting in the wings don't look Emily or Shayna because those are my wing version friends but I kind of like critters I don't like I like caterpillars, which I know they turn into butterflies, so I don't know. It's hard. Let me know that too. This might be so silly. If you have a friend that doesn't like something, do you also not like it? I feel like obligated to not like butterflies because Emily doesn't. I don't know. That might just be me. <laughs> she also now doesn't like birds for me, so it, it evens out. <gasps> Meanwhile, back at the lab. Oh my gosh. And it's funny because it's like it could be a Labrador. Get it? Get it? I love sciencey things. Sorry, I'm like reading. Oh, his name is potentially Lab, or it's saying that he is a lab dog. I love the tongue. I don't know if that's safe while doing science, but that's all right. Breaking the ice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, I really like this one because it's super detailed, but the ice kind of frames it in. Sometimes I have trouble doing backgrounds on these. I know some people can make magic but I get overwhelmed because I'm like, where does it end? But this is filled, like this is encapsulated. So there's an ending spot, but sea critters are some of my favorites. So love this. I love that puffer fish a lot. <gasps> oh my goodness, it grows on you. See, that was the planter from the beginning. I love this octopus a lot. See, I'm like looking with you. So I'm really looking in there. Hopefully I'm staying centered so that I can just focus on the page. But another thing about me, and I need to know if you have done this style of mandala, what do you do? I personally tend to do rings. So like I'll do all of these brown and then all of these gray and then all of these green or whatever it may be. But I know some people will do like in a wheel, which totally makes sense. And I don't know why I never think to do that. So let me know what you do. So they'll do like orange, yellow, green, and they'll do it in that way. Obviously it doesn't have to be a rainbow, but like my, my, my mind doesn't even go there. So I'm definitely gonna have to try that out in this book and try different things instead of just the same pattern. So ice cream, you scream, ah, oh my gosh, bear and a Yeti. It's so cute. This guy was definitely on some of her packaging before. I remember him. So I love the little spoon. See how like it's super cute little details, but again, it's all like Eh, you know what I'm saying? Eh. It's squared off, encapsulated. Oh, it's like a banana split. I was like, what is that? But I figured it out. 
What about blob? Whoa, this is how I would draw. Just like fill in the space. Not this well, but you know what I'm saying. So it's just everything is filled with little designs. I love this guy a lot. The cloud and a little sushi. I like that one. I was like, oh, is that a cat? But no, he's got no real features. <laughs> Slug. I love it. I love it. <gasps> just roll with it. Oh my goodness. I love this elephant a whole lot. The little kitty is hanging out in the basket. So cute. Fully loaded, totally baked. It's a pizza. Oh my gosh. Sorry. See, like this one, this volume, it's like different. So it's like a whole pizza is in the middle. And then all the stuff on the outside. And that's genius. I love it. Do you think those are tomatoes? I don't love tomatoes, but that's all right. <laughs> it's a pretty common pizza ingredient, so. I fought the claw. Claw machines. I love the little design in the middle. I'm trying to look at what I would want to win. I would probably go for the strawberry because I love fruit stuff. So, and it's some cherry soda, popcorn. Everyone's a wiener. There's another one. I would like to know how you would do this type of page because sometimes I'm like, oh, wiener dogs, they're like all brown, but then that's not fun. So would you do rainbow? Would you pick a color palette? Let me know how you would do it. Would you go in a wheel or would you go circles? Let me know. But I love that this one, like these are all just regular wiener dogs and then this one's an actual hot dog. Treats. It's important to be shelf aware. This one I saw that she colored and I love the idea of this one too. It's like geometric, which is some of my favorite. And it's all bookshelves and it's like, it's full chunks. I still don't know how to say like contained, which I guess that's how, but so much fun. And like this one looks super detailed, but it's not that bad. And again, like you can color, I, immediately didn't think to color the backs of the shelves, but you totally could. And then you could have it rainbows in different ways. So, so fun. Crikey me likey. Oh my goodness. I love the platypus. Wombat, spider wombat, platypus, kiwi bird, kangaroo. Uh-oh, what is that guy? I feel like I remember, but I don't remember. Is that a wombat too? Do you think that's the same guy? Koala and a bird. We don't need to know about birds. Kookaburra? Maybe? Crikey, me likey. I think I'm going too slow. Rise and fine dine. Ooh. Is this breakfasty things? Yes, because we have our egg. Also, I have to say, what I love too, is if you have all three volumes, there were there was breakfast before. But this is still so, so different. That, obviously, it's like a whole new book. Like, it's amazing. Because <laughs> I loved all the themes, and I didn't really understand how she was going to come up with 30 more. So tweak them and make them better. So you're a puff guy. Haha. <laughs> My friend's gonna love this. He is obsessed with dragons. And if I just like hear anything about dragons, like he'll buy the book, he'll has the merch. I buy him like dragon memorabilia for Christmas. So I love this. Also, I love how big that dragon is. <gasps> Slow speed fiber. Love that. Again, anything crafty just makes my heart happy. So like the fact that this is all yarn things. I've dabbled in yarn things. We got crochet and knitting and embroidery maybe. I don't know. I went to a needlepoint class earlier today. Whoa, you otter hear this. This otter is on my journal for this year or was it last year? This year is the zest is yet to come lemon. My otters were on last year's bullet journal, but so cute. And again, this is a nice big one. So there's still details, but it's different. Otters are Sam's favorite animal, in case you were wondering. Wonderful Washington. Ooh. She's from Washington, in case you didn't know that. So that makes sense. The orcas. I love cruising. Might be going on a cruise out of Seattle next year. Fingers crossed. There's a hair in my bouquet. Oh my gosh, it's a bunny. Oh, it's so cute. This one's fun because you can almost not tell where each segment ends. Obviously like they're symmetrical so you can, but it just like blends together so nice. 
don't carousel yourself short. Another one that it's like super segmented. Oh my gosh, though. They're different. The critters are different in each one. <gasps> a hippo. I can't get over it. <gasps> I love it. Just happy to be here. Capybaras are everywhere. That one almost looks like a bear, which I love bears. That's why I point that out. But so cute. And again, one I'm going to have to figure out how to color. I love the little barrels. Are you on capybara talk? I can't make the sounds, but there's there's a capybara song. Good things come in trees. <laughs> Sorry. This page just reminds me of Kathy and the otter in the tree. That could be the new otter in the tree. Is it a bear in a tree or a cat in a tree? I don't know, but it could be an otter in a tree. And I, though I don't enjoy birds, I enjoy the little birds peeking out. And snails. Ooh, animal planets. <gasps> Axolotl. I'm going to say, I'm going to consider that a teddy bear, not just a bear bear. Kitty, puppy. <gasps> I love the snail one. That's so smart. With the planet, it's like its shell. And again, this one's like kind of outlined too in a good way drive in hang out i've never been to a drive-in do they have drive-ins still around you the closest one here are like a few hours away and then i think obviously they don't start till nighttime and i think it's like a double feature so it would be like an overnight journey if i were to try one i do still really want to but this seems too scary a movie for me though but let me know if you've ever been to a drive-in movie. The perfect potion. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. This would be so fun to do for Halloween season. And again, you could do each potion different or all the potions the same. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of doing them different maybe. Or maybe just in Halloween colors. I'm going to have to remember this to do this season. We are getting there. Oh my goodness, totally swamped. Here's our turtle. Found him. I love the eyes on this gator <laughs> and the tadpoles. So cute. So cute. I'm sorry. I'm yawning. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I love it. I love his little bow tie too. He's a fancy, like he's like the salesman of the swamp. <gasps> Take your best shot. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh. oh my God. <laughs> sorry. First of all, I need to stop. I just made this face like I put my hands up to my cheeks without realizing it so that's fun but I love this I try to do photo strips as much as possible um I had one at my wedding and this is just so fun and I love that it's a bear because I'm really into bears so that works out for me and wishing you well <gasps> more bears this is like a, a succulent in the middle I just love it this would be, in my head, what I would do this one, is I would do the wells all the same and then potentially do the bears and the bunnies different. Maybe even the flowers. Let me know what you do. And are you for real? <laughs> the octopus. He's like ramen faux bowls. Sam is a big noodle guy. So I'll have to get him to help me with this page and figuring out all of the colors. I know egg though, and the little shrimpies. Ooh, noodle hair and log in tune out whoa this one is tripping me out because i looked at these first and they're like upside down but they're right side up down here <gasps> the screens are all different oh my gosh is that the last one i love it because it says the end so i figured that that was the last one cat clock sorry <laughs> ah. pencil cup see again when any little 1231 on there and 1232 on there. Interesting. Tetris. Yes. Okay. That is it. That is all 30 pages. Let's see if I can pick a favorite quickly and then we'll finish talking. I'm just going to go right back to the first one because I love the supplies. So again, these are from Etsy. And um, if you haven't seen these before, you have the opportunity to order all three. But I definitely think you should check it out. I'm nearly positive the other two flip throughs are on my channel. Um, definitely the second one, but probably also the first one. And if not officially, I've definitely colored from it multiple, multiple times. So I will leave the Etsy linked down below, her general shop, and then a link to the books for you to check them out yourself. 
Um, are you a fan? Are you going to pick it up? Did you already? Did you Have you had yours for days? Because my mail lady delivered mine late. It's not her fault at all. It was a holiday weekend. I definitely understand. But I was still upset because I was watching that tracking. And I was watching it not come to me. And I was sad about it. So <laughs> let me know all of those things down below. I'm so sorry that this turned into a 20 minute flip through, but sometimes you got to give the good stuff the right attention. So that's it for me today. I have so many plans for upcoming videos that hopefully I will be getting out to you soon because I miss you guys. And right now I'm doing pretty good. We'll talk about it in the next video, but this week is a good week. So I will see you guys all soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Comment down below anything you want to comment. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, friends.